Hello and welcome. This is Rod Davis for Burned to Learn. In this video, we will show you how to fix a problem with configuring Gmail and Outlook 2016. Open Outlook, and the first thing you will see is this Auto Account Setup page. This is a manual process, so choose the manual setting and then click Next. Here, choose Pop and IMAP as your service and click Next. It's important that you understand and know what POP3 and IMAP do. POP3 is an incoming server. Its letters mean Post Office Protocol version 3. POP's job is to store sent and received email messages on your PC's hard drive. IMAP is a second incoming server, and its letters mean Internet Message Access Protocol. IMAP job is to give you access to stored messages on your hard drive. So getting the settings for both POP3 and IMAP right during the configuration process is very important. Now you're looking at the POP and IMAP account settings where you put in user information, server information, and log on. Let's begin with user information where you put your name and email address. Now input your username and password for your login, log on information. Now move to the server information, and this is very key. To get this information, return to your Gmail account and click on the setting gear wheel, and then click on setting. Find the forwarding and pop slash IMAP setting, click it, scroll down, click on the configuration information link. This will produce a set of instructions for setting up Gmail with Outlook. Click on Enable POP. The Enable POP instructions is very important. You will need, however, to scroll down to Step 2. And here is your configuration information. We want to put this information in our Outlook, beginning with the incoming mail POP server email address. Go to Outlook and paste this. Return and now copy the outgoing mail SMTP server email address and put this in Outlook. It's also important that you understand what SMTP and SSL are and what they do. SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. It is an outgoing mail server, and its job is to deliver emails between servers. SSL stands for Secure Socket Layer, and its job is to secure and protect your email information. It's important that these settings are also correct during the configuration process, or the configuration will not work. Click on More Settings, where we're going to check our general account, make sure the information is correct. Click the first box on the outgoing server. Notice that the port number is automatically set at 995. Now we're going to put the outgoing server port number of 465 into your Outlook. Click OK. But now it's time to test everything. So click on Test Account Settings. Click OK for the first test, but cancel the second test because you get an error message. Close that error message box. Go back to your Gmail account. Open it. But this time, click on the nine dots at the upper right-hand corner. 
and click on My Account. My Account gives you quick access to settings to make this process work better for you. So now in My Account, click on Sign In and Security. Scroll down on this page until you find a section called Allows Less Secure Apps. If this is in the off position, configuration won't work. So click on the on-off switch, changing the setting to on. Now let's go back to Outlook and retest. Click the test account settings. And now it is working. Close this box. Click Next and Outlook test is completed. Close this box and you see now you are congratulated. Click on Finish and check to see if the newly configured Gmail account is on your Outlook and there it is. You are done. Congratulations.